this, bought the pack with the tin, make a snap, got a pinch to the max, just bought a Kodiak. Throw a G in your lip, just bought a Kodiak. Throw a G in your lip, just bought a Kodiak. Jazz bitch on the track, take the tin, make it snap, got a pinch. Hey guys, it's Hedge and Cabbage back again for another one of our great dip reviews. Woo! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, so we just got back from the res about 15 minutes ago and we loaded up on a bunch of cans of dip you know the, the cans that were requested and we're gonna sit here do a couple of those reviews today and uh, you know just finish off the bag and progressively review all the cans throughout the week so stay tuned well, you got a couple shout outs don't you? oh yeah uh, shout out to uh, username Bill and Coventry for supplying you know, just out of nowhere this generous man gave us money to re-up on dip so Thanks a lot, man. So funding by Bill and Coventry. Yes, yes. And the music at the beginning of our video today? Uh, the Skull Bandits. You know, look them up on LimeWire, YouTube, whatever. They, they got great dip-related music. All right, so the dip we're going to be reviewing for you now, it's a favorite by a lot of people. We're going to give you a nice little review on it, and that is Copenhagen Snuff. Yes. Now, uh... Hedge and I both are, are quite avid Copenhagen chewers, but I have yet to try any sort of snuff of any brand, so this is going to be a whole new experience for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not new to the snuff. I've enjoyed it in the past. Yeah. Alright, so, now since you're a new snuff dipper, I recommend, and to all you new dippers out there, three fingers to pinch this, because it's very grainy. It's like sand. Probably even a little smaller than sand. So, let's do this. Looks like potting soil. Oh, beefy dip. Now the first thing I notice is his fingers are absolutely covered with dip. In that. I, I don't know if that's something characteristic of Cope or if that was just a bad pinch he took. Uh, it's grainy. <laughs> Sometimes I struggle to get a nice pinch out of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm realizing that. So if now. If, my cut dip isn't for you, then Cope Snuff isn't for you. But if you're in there for a nice buzz, a good, good, very good tasting dip, Copenhagen Snuff's where it's at. Now, uh, Cope Straight is one of my favorite brands, favorite flavors of all time. I'd say it's probably number two. And uh, I, my first reaction to this is I get the taste of Copenhagen. But it's just, there's so much detritus. I, I don't think it's going to pass the sip test very well. Yeah, so. You know, take that can out one more time. I don't know. Another thing I notice is, you know, you, you snap your can, give it a good pack, and then you, you, you open it up, and it's almost as if you didn't pack it as soon as you dip your fingers in it. So, for packing, no. That, that, it's... All right, so here's the famous detritus test. Of, of last video. Mmm. <clears throat> Yum. Whew. Now, immediately after I swallowed my beer, I noticed that I was getting a you know, real sour, yuck feeling in the back of my mouth, almost like I was gutting chew, so. But if you plan on drinking and chewing at the same time, this uh, it's not the way to go. Well, for me, I'm used to chewing the snuff. I know how to keep a pack down tight, so... I didn't get much of that. This is actually the uh, the first lip of snuff I've ever packed. So, uh, let's see what else what else is there to say about Copenhagen snuff? Um, I've got a bunch of it on my lap now from packing my lip. Uh, there, there's a thin layer of it on this table. Uh, definitely a hard hard dip to pinch. But you get the hang of it. I I sure as hell haven't. I, I honestly don't see why someone would choose Coke Snuff as opposed to maybe Coke Fine Cut or even Coke Long Cut. But I mean, if any of you out there are Snuff fans, you know, you just it. please explain that to me. Snuff you. is pretty much Fine Cut. Why okay. would someone choose Coke Snuff yeah. over Coke Fine Cut? Shut the fuck up. I don't like you sometimes. <laughs> Price-wise, you know, it's Copenhagen. You're going to be paying out the ass for it. But... I mean, if you're a fan of snuff or fine cut, it's got a good flavor to it. 
And, you know, if you're experienced with fine cut snuff, we do the same thing. But, you know, if you're experienced with chew like that, then I, I would definitely go for it. But if you're used to more traditional long cuts, uh, I would say, you know, stick with those. This is nothing extraordinary. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I love it. We're begging, to, we're begging to differ on this one, man. Yes, well, I, I'm not begging. I'm just... It looks like we're going to have a, a split sip count. Yes, so uh, that being said, what, what would you give this? Um, my beer senses are telling me to take a good solid four sips on this dip. Hmm. Really? Not quite the cold or the skull straight, but I'm losing a scar just because of the inability to pinch a grape. So we have four sips. Yummy. Now, I, I would have to agree with you on, you know, this is delicious to the Copenhagen and all, but I, I think the detritus factor and the pinchable factor and, you know, everything that comes with getting a chew that's ground up this fine detracts from its rating, you know, severely. So, uh, I, I'd say a very weak two sips. Get the fuck out of here. One sip for each inch of penis he and has. See, see, those, those two sips just all about diminish my dip. I am not good at dipping, you know, such finely ground sand chew, but, uh, yeah. Let's see, what else can we say? What else? Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I got you here. Um, all you guys on SM Post, I still haven't got my verification email yet. So if any of you guys are administrators or, you know, active on the post, you know, just, hey, come on, Cabbage Chews Coke, he's a cool guy. He's here giving me good advice on Chew. I would greatly appreciate it. And, uh, you know, like, like every time, just join our channel, leave comments, uh, give us ratings, you know, blow us up, man. We, we need you guys. It's all to you. Yes, indeed. Yes. So, uh... Later. Number six, about to pack with the ten, make a snap, got a pinch to the max, just bought a Kodiak. Throw a G in your lip, just bought a Kodiak. Throw a G in your lip, just.